Welcome, guys, to Christ the Servant Lutheran Church's Sunday School Youth Corner. Hi, everybody. Hi. 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 Hola. Hi. Hi. Hi, I'm Tyler. And I'm Josh. Hello. Hi. Hi. Wow, you guys look like you've had a lot of fun this week. Keep it up and keep it safe. All right, are you guys ready for the Bible lesson for today? Today's Bible lesson is Jesus appears to Thomas. You will find this in John chapter 20, verses 24 through 29. Here we go. Now Thomas, also known as Didymus, one of the twelve, was not with the disciples when Jesus came. So the other disciples told him, We have seen the Lord. But he said to them, Unless I see the nail marks in his hands and put my finger where the nails were and put my hand into his side, I will not believe. A week later, his disciples were in the house again, and Thomas was with them. Though the doors were locked, Jesus came and stood among them and said, Peace be with you. Then he said to Thomas, Put your finger here. See my hands? Reach out your hand and put it into my side. Stop doubting and believe. Thomas said to him, My Lord and my God. Then Jesus told him, Because you have seen me, you have believed. Blessed are those who have not seen and yet have believed. Isn't this just a wonderful lesson on Jesus's and God's love for us? And even though we cannot see them, We should not doubt like doubting Thomas, but keep the faith. It also ties in nicely with how Jesus said, Peace be with you. And this week we shared that peace and love with one another. Hi guys. So some of you, especially in adults, may be wondering, why does Sarah have all these jars on her table? Well, these are called gratitude jars. And our youth have been working on these jars this week. So this idea came last Sunday when we were sitting down and we were watching Pastor Diane and Pastor Dave's Easter church service online. So at the end of, um, right before the end of the church service, they say, peace be with you. And when we're in church, we go around and we greet each other and we shake their hands and we say, peace be with you, peace be with you. 
Well, we can't do that right now. So Pastor Dave says, since we can't do that, go out and spread the peace and appreciation with everyone you meet. That could be um, gas station workers, uh, grocery store workers, anybody. Well, we decided to make these gratitude jars and we were going to pass them out to all essential workers. And the list is so long. That includes nurses and doctors and staff that works at the hospital and doctor's offices and truck drivers and grocery workers and gas station workers. The list goes on and on and on and on and on. Well, we put the request out there to our youth. And not only do we have these jars up here, they're full of candy. All the candy is wrapped. There's nothing in here that's loose so that all the candy can be wiped down. And we put this out there to our youth. And not only do we have the jars that are here, but we have 84 total jars. And our youth want everybody out there that's an essential worker to know how grateful and appreciative and thankful we are you guys are risking so much every single day to help take care of us and we are so appreciative of that so we're going to go ahead and we're going to roll that footage to show you guys our appreciation for what you do and also to show you what our youth have been up to and how they've been working hard at making these gratitude jars and passing them out so let's watch it shall we Christ the Servant Lutheran Sunday School Youth would like to take this time to show our gratitude, appreciation, and thanks. Thank you so much to our military, doctors, hospital employees, nurses, EMTs and paramedics, firefighters, police officers, pharmacists and techs, grocery store employees, truck drivers, restaurant employees, gas station workers, child care providers, people staying home, researchers, journalists, veterinarians and vet techs, bank workers, mail carriers, farmers, volunteers, nonprofit workers, and I'm going to add two more, even though I believe the list is endless. Thank you to teachers that are teaching online, and thank you to our wonderful pastors, amazing, awesome pastors. Thank you to everyone who is working to keep things going in these trying times. We are truly grateful and appreciative to you for showing God's love by caring for and helping others. May the peace be with you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. 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 Thank you.
smiling faces, again, we are so appreciative of all the essential workers out there. And we hope you can feel our love and appreciation, especially with these gratitude jars. Now these gratitude jars are ongoing, so you can keep making them and keep passing them out and keep sending me those pictures. Remember, age does not matter. You are never too young or too old to make a difference or to make someone smile. All right, so I know some of you, with school being canceled, that means band concerts, choir concerts, orchestra concerts, plays, dance recitals, piano recitals, all that stuff's been canceled. But you know what? Your church family cares about you, and we want to see that. We want to be your audience, and we want to be there, and we want to support you. So all you youth out there that have any videos, maybe about a minute long, minute and a half long, send them to me. We would love to see it. We would love to be here and support you, watch it, and cheer you on. This Wednesday, April 22nd, is Earth Day. And unfortunately, our middle school use third annual Earth Day cleanup at the Pittman Wash has been postponed. But we can still do our part to help the Earth and others on it by staying home, social distancing, and cleaning our rooms. <laughs> we have two poems for you to celebrate Earth Day. The first is All Things Bright and Beautiful by Cecil Francis Alexander and read by Frankie. And the second one is Earth Day's Birthday in Quarantine Poem, written and read by Abigail Panariso. Frankie had to memorize her poem for schoolwork, and Abigail had to write a poem and make a video for an online assignment for Earth Day. Let's watch, shall we? All things bright and beautiful, all creatures great and small, all things wise and wonderful, the Lord God made them all. Each little flower that opens, each little bird that sings, there he made their glowing colors, and their he made their tiny wings. The purple-headed mountain, the river running by, the sunset and the morning that brighten up the sky, the cold winds in the winter, pleasant summer sun, the ripe fruits in the garden, he made them every one. He gave us eyes to see them and lips that we might tell. The, how great is God Almighty who has made all things well. Earth Day's Birthday and Quarantine Poem by Abigail Panariso. Earth Days in the past will look so different than this year. I wish 2020s would last and that pollution would not reappear. On Earth Day, I used to make a mad dash to clean up and pick up trash. Every day, I make a choice and choose to clean, recycle, and reuse. Earth Day is turning 50. Isn't that nifty? But this year isn't the same because the coronavirus came. Because the coronavirus is here, there is a lot of fear. People are being forced to stay home and animals are free to roam. San Francisco's empty park and street are where the coyotes meet. Colorado's empty town invites the deer to come on down. The world has literally stopped, and because of this, pollution has dropped. China was in such a race that you could see the pollution from space. But when COVID-19 hit, everyone was forced to sit. You can no longer see pollution from space because it has been erased. People everywhere are sheltering in place and not going outside just in case. People in India haven't seen the Himalayas in 30 years, and all of a sudden it reappears. Every person in Italy disappeared, and all the canals and water just cleared. All the gondolas in Venice docked, and the birds and ducks flocked. Washington skies have improved because traffic pollution has been removed. Los Angeles smog has lifted because people's lives have shifted. The Earth's noise has decreased, while the noise at home has increased. Seismologists say there's less shaking because everyone is at home baking. This is all because the coronavirus came. Will next year's Earth Day be the same? Did we find the answer to climate change? Is it for all of us to stay home on the range? The end. Happy Earth Day. Let the heavens rejoice. Let the Earth be glad. Let the sea resound, and let all that is in it. Let the fields be jubilant, and everything in them. Let all the trees of the forest sing for joy. 
Psalm chapter 96, verses 11 through 12. Let us bow our heads and pray. Lord, we give thanks to everyone out there who is helping care for others, whether that is working, volunteering, or staying home to keep others safe. Lord God, we thank you for sending your son Jesus to die on the cross for our sins. Please be with those who are sick, hurting, and need you. May they feel your peace and love. We will always pray through Jesus, our friend, our Lord, and our Savior. Amen. All right, friends, we'll continue to show the gratitude this week by making gratitude jars. Continue to share God's love and continue to be good Samaritans. We'll see everyone next week. Bye. Welcome guys to Christ the Service. Welcome guys to Christ the Service. I'm gonna sing here. I'm gonna sing. I wish you like it. I'm gonna sing. And I'm gonna sing. 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 I'm gonna s